Is everything okay? You look a little lost. Hmm? Oh, yes. I can't seem to find my way home, is all. I was just about to make my umpteenth attempt at a new route. I was hoping to head this way myself. The situation is a real pain, huh? I suppose the Sovereign knows best. I daren't stay here too long, though. A lower caste can only linger around these parts for so long before I outstay my welcome. I was hoping to avoid it, but maybe I'll have to go that way after all. You mean you know another way round? Lord Dohali no Karis! But how? Last I heard, you were in Dana competing in the crown contest. Yes, strange, isn't it? If you know another route, we'd be grateful if you could tell us. But, but of course. Please forgive me. There's a wall that sprung up ahead of here, with what looks to be an entrance in it. I thought maybe it was a passageway between the different quarters, but I've no way of knowing for sure. It's worth investigating, at least. I shall go and assess the situation. In the meantime, wait for me here. If it looks safe, I'll come and let you know. You'd really do that for me? A lord troubling himself for someone of my lowly status? Our lot in life is of little consequence. We are both Renan, first and foremost. Oh, why yes, my lord. Thank you. All right, then. Well, we canvassed the city for information. What do you think? No one has the faintest idea what's happened to the city after all. They haven't heard the news about the crown contest either. You'd think that info would easily find its way up here. Has it always been like that? Not to this extent. Which would indicate that something's suppressing the truth. That Lenicus is under some kind of control. Given everything that's happened to their city, the people here seem weirdly okay with it all. Yeah. That one guy even said his Zugal would stop listening to him. If that's true, these people are in big trouble. Everything that happens here is attributed to the Sovereign's will. It's the way people have been conditioned. Their belief runs deep. Nothing happens devoid of a reason. To them, it's all part of the Sovereign's grand plan. The Sovereign's plan. There is one thing I'm still not sure about. Just who is this person ruling over Lenigus? The Sovereign, of course. He rules from Rena while presiding over both Rena and Lenigus. Without the Lords or anyone in the middle doing his dirty work? Isn't Rena at least the same size as Dana? That's a pretty big dominion for one person to rule over. I would have thought ruling Lenigus alone would be difficult enough. The points you make are valid. Though I confess I'd never given it much thought before. Here, the Sovereign's total authority is as natural as night turning to day. Come to think of it, I know nothing of the nature of how Rena itself is... <sighs> Shion, have you ever been... <clears throat> no, forgive me. Have you met or crossed paths with... Or even heard of someone who's actually made a visit to the homeland? No, I haven't. Neither have I. In which case, I would imagine that... <clears throat> but no, surely not. Can it really be that no citizen of Lenicus has ever been there? Hold up, what are you getting at, Dohalim? Assuming what I believe to be correct, it's possible that no one on Lenicus has ever laid eyes on the actual Renan homeworld itself. No one but the Sovereign, that is. But what about trade and communication? There's got to be a flow back and forth, surely. Not if the Sovereign is imposing his will on Lenigus single-handedly. It could be a one-way street. But I thought you said that the Sovereign's all the way over on Rena. If that's the case, can he really rule directly over Lenigus from so far away? What if something were to happen to the city, like now? I'm beginning to wonder what the nature of this Sovereign even is. Alfin said he was forced into the role, right? Just before the ceremony. But Sovereign is also the title given to the Almighty Renin Ruler. So which one is it? Whoever wins the crown contest inherits the throne from his or her predecessor, before becoming ruler over all of Rena and Lenigus. Thereafter, that individual is known as the Sovereign. Though... It would appear that the current ruler has gone silent. As for how Volron factors into all this... At this point, I no longer know what to believe. Three centuries ago, I became the Sovereign here on Lenigus. Oh, 
I just became, I was forced to. Me, a Danon. 300 years later, we cross paths with Volron, who also bears the Sovereign's crest. That's not the only thing we have in common. We both became Sovereign without winning the Crown Contest. Do you think Volron was made Sovereign for the same reason? Because of that ceremony? I can't say for sure, but it certainly sounds like it. But that would mean that two Sovereigns would need to exist at any one time. One whose job it is to rule, and the other for ceremonial purposes. We never did see Volron's body back in Ganeth Heros. Is a new ceremony underway with Volron at its center this time? Could that be what's causing all this strange activity here? Wait a second. You don't think Volron and the Red Woman are working together, do you? The ceremony can't go forward without the Renis Alma. The same one that the Red Woman stole. There's something else the ceremony needs. A maiden. And unless there's another one out there aside from me... Questions, questions, and yet more questions. Ones that it seems will remain unanswered until we can establish the Sovereign's identity. If the Forbidden Zone really is off-limits to everyone but the Sovereign, that seems as good a place as any to start. For the sake of liberating Dana, too. Then it's decided. That's where we need to go. One of the citizens mentioned a passage that she thought might lead to another section of the city. It could point us in the right direction. Let's go find it. Dude, Volrin could actually, like, be alive. Volrin might make a comeback. After that dialogue, like, so much, so many questions, so much is, like, unknown. I did not want to do this. There's a skit I have to watch. I'll have to hold that thought. With nobody left to run the show, I wonder what the people here are supposed to do. I mean, their sovereigns up on the Renin homeworld, and all their lords were sent to Dana. But Dohalim was a lord, right? Only current acting lords have power. Renin society is quite strict about such matters. Even if the other lords were still around, I doubt they'd be able to do much about the situation. I wonder what they'd think if they were here to see Lenigus now. Balsif, Cannabelt, Almadria, and Volron. Now that I think of it, aside from Dohalim, we know next to nothing about the other lords. Well, yeah, why would we? To us Danans, they were just enemies we needed to overthrow. Nothing more. I know. But seeing Renans in their own city, going about their day-to-day -day lives, it gets you thinking. It feels strange to imagine the Lords living here too, you mean? Yeah, a little. If you're that curious about them, why not try inquiring with some of the locals? Every Lord in their household has their share of supporters here on Lenigus. And luckily for us, the people here are unaware of the events on Dana, which means they should be more inclined to talk to us. Oh, this is a quest. I mean, like, I gotta do it. So th this got me thinking about a couple of things. They also mentioned that no one's been to Rena or like not much people have been to Rena. What if Rena is like not what we think it is? Something's going on with Rena, which I'm very curious to see what that's about. Um, also, the true purpose of the crown contest who the uh, sovereign is, the fact that there's two sovereigns, so many questions I just can't wait to find the answers to. Also, Volrin might not be dead. Because also, I'm trying to think who the villain after the Red Woman is. Volrin might make a return. Especially with some dialogue after that. It'd be really weird if Volrin didn't make a return after that little segment. I just don't know how it's going to go about. Hmm? I don't know which lord I support. Why? Are you canvassing for someone? I'm with His Excellency... A Wolsey tell this, you know, you probably know him better as Lord Balseth. I know a lot of people consider him to be a giant brute, believe me, I realize he can be an aggressive man. What those people don't realize is how much he looks after the members of his house. It's fair to say House Heldless doesn't enjoy much esteem. Those of us who serve it will be the first to admit that. But His Excellency always stands up against any who mean harm to us. Of that we can be sure. His efforts in the Crown Contest aren't only for his family, but to improve the standing of each and every member of his house. I owe so much to his excellency, I could never dream of serving any other lord. This is really nice, getting all background on the lords. Balsef had it in him to care about someone other than himself? Really? It's possible. A change in position can do much to alter one's perspective. So even he might have had something he wanted to protect. Wild. I, I like this. We're getting another side of the lords. You're probably going to support Ganabelt, likely. 
Lord Dohalim, you returned. Uh, I see I brought the... I see you brought aids with you. Do you remember who I am, my lord? Surely you must, yes. Not only do I support House Ilkaris, but more specifically his lordship personally. So much so I've been trying to share my appreciation of his lordship to any who will listen. In fact, I was planning to publish my extensive writings on the subject, though this is very terminal for all to read and enjoy. But since the lines appear to be cut due to the recent tumult, tumult, I've been unable to upload them. I know, since you're all here, I'll read them out loud. <laughs> there exists a most handsome man, a man who radiates beauty, whose every word, every syllable is divine poetry. He hails from Lord, the famed house Ilkaris, and his name Lord Dohalim. Oh, obviously you support Dohalim. I don't know why. I guessed Ganabelt. Music is his passion, the art... His, the art's his great love, the scores of boorish, uncouth men of this land, cannot begin to compare to his magnificence. magnificence. So refined and majestic is his posture, why the mere thought of it brings me to ex ec ecstasy. ecstasy. Once he becomes our sovereign, Rana shall bloom anew, unshearing in an, un in an era of prosperity for our grand civilization. Until that glorious day comes, I shall forever be praying for his victory, morning, noon, and night. Well, what'd you think, my lord? I poured my whole heart into it, hoping to capture your essence. Wait, I forgot to mention anything about his lordship's love for collecting things. <laughs> I must take the time while the lines are down to append it. Only then will my masterpiece be complete. Okay, then. Dohalim does like poetry. She intended to spread it throughout all of Lenigus, then. Good thing the lines were down, so she couldn't. It almost sounded like she was praising them, too. Maybe there was more to the guy than at first glance. I shall refrain from commenting. <laughs> oh, Dohalim. Hmm. Well, I never think anyone would try to tear me away from House Valkyris. Uh, Valkyris? Oh, it's Almadria. Huh? What do you want? Don't tell me you work for Lord Dohalim or that dreadful Lord Almadria, do you? Oh, well, maybe not. House Valkyris might be Ganabout. I don't remember. You don't? Well, don't scare me like that. To answer your question, I come from a family that served Lord, Lord served House Valkyris for generations. It is Ganabout. Indeed, I'm doing all I can to support Lord Ganaba behind the scenes so that he might emerge victorious. It's kind of funny. Uh, they mentioned this, but uh, it's kind of funny how uh, they don't they don't know at all that these lords are dead. Many think him to be a cruel man. I insist they're utterly mistaken. Though I won't deny he can be strict, he puts a Renan's interest front and center like no one else. Well, why he advocates that rather than... Stay confined to Lenigus, we should get on with colonizing Donna and expand our horizons. That way we will become masters of both worlds and overturn our current minority status on Dana's surface. That's why he seeks to become our next sovereign. Tell me, is there a greater, more noble ambition than that? I think not. It's a pursuit of power for the advancement of all of our kind, which what makes him an exemplary lord. A model above all else. Though I was unable to accompany him myself, my two sons have been blessed with the honor of joining him on the surface. As their father fills me with endless pride. Yeah, I know it's Ganaba. I was reading the dialogue. Was so horrible to people. Yet he was invested in helping Rena succeed. Doesn't that seem just a little inconsistent? I'm perhaps biased in this matter, I admit. However, I didn't know what House Valkyris meant. Other than that, though, I knew it was Ganaba. Who else can I talk to? Also meant to serve as guardians of all of Rena. It seems like Ganabeld also had people he cared about until the very end. So why couldn't he extend that to us, Danids? Said it before he said it. Oh <laughs> well, Raptor, that's considered a spoiler. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, who else I have to talk to? There's like no one else to talk to. Alright, whatever. Let's watch this skit. I didn't realize Renan's oppressed their own kind too. And yet, weirdly, none of them seem to mind. Am I the only one who finds that strange? It is the way things have always been, so no one thinks to question it. 
You have experience in that regard yourself, do you not? Unquestioning acceptance of your own servitude. Yeah, that sounds about right. Even so, the quality of life here seems much higher than any Damon city we visited. I used to think it was impossible to build an ideal society without wealth. But I suppose having it doesn't always mean people are treated fairly, either. More to the point, not a single citizen seems to have even heard of the Red Woman. What if she's not here? What if it turns out we're looking in the wrong place entirely? It's still too early to say anything for sure. For all we know, she might be able to blend in, move around unnoticed. I say we hold off judgment until we've exhausted every avenue. Another skit. Yeah, I'm sure it was said in the boss fight. Two things. First of all, that was a long time ago. Second of all, it's like if I were guessing a voice actor. You know? Unless I explicitly said, like, oh, what is Valkyris? You know. Ah, eh, whatever. Not a big deal. Skit again. Tell me, Dohalim. Has that skill of yours got a name? And what skill would this be, pray tell? You know, when you're talking to people around town. The way they suddenly become putty in your hands. I'm afraid I don't quite follow. He's a lord. I do. It's called friendly intimidation. Look imposing and speak in a deep, booming voice, and presto, you'll have people wrapped around your finger in no time. I would never stoop to such scandalous tricks. Any feelings of intimidation are solely in the eye of the beholder. So there is a knack to it! How do you learn it? Can anyone do it? Now you've got me curious. Is there special training to master? Hmm, let's see. An obsession with being elegant is a must. Oh, and it helps to be old-fashioned, too. Bonus points if you speak in a way no one can understand. If you've a bone to pick with me, it'd be quicker to just come out and say it. What? They look up to you, that's all. I'm just helping them along. Hey! What got into Alvin and Law all of a sudden? I can barely understand a word they're saying. And what's with the weird poses? Was it something they ate? I hope you're willing to take the blame for this one. I wasn't expecting them to take me so seriously. I'll go and have a word with them. Okay. Oh, there's some more. I didn't know Lanigus there was more of it. Area doesn't look as badly damaged as that other district we went through. Indeed. The effects of Lenigus's transformation appear to be less pronounced here. Or viewed another way. This area was simply luckier. <laughs> what can I say, chat? Uh, there's more to explore here. But, um, I like this side quest, by the way. Getting more insight on... I mean, not a crazy amount, but... Getting decent insight on the lords is nice. Where's my house? I don't know how to get home. So I find it funny that they don't even know that their lords are dead. Sorry, authorized personnel only. The damage beyond here is too severe. You'll have to go around. As a member of the upper cast, I order you to find the route out of here to the neighboring district. Please know you can't accept an old man. You can't expect an old man such as me to do that. Not when there are Zugals running loose in part of the town. That's exactly why I need you to do this. Surely you don't, you don't intend to defy me now, do you? <laughs> details, details. Well, my stream, my rules. What can I say? More than that. Residential quarters completely ruined, the roads are a mess, and we can't get any power. The info terminals have gone dead too, we can't get in contact with any of our fellow Renans on the ground in Donna. I wonder if the Sovereign's aware of what's going on. A raptor should know me well well enough by now. Alright, two more people to talk to. One for Volrin and one for Almedria. How loathsome! I was reading about Lord Volrin. Can I help you? I was always an ardent supporter of Lord Uragi, Uragil, Ildris, myself. Were it not for a sudden death down the surface, I likely still would be. In my eyes, Lord Orogel is the true Water Lord. I don't believe for a second that he perished in some accident like they said. How do you know that Vorin died, though? As for how Vorin runs Ganataros, don't get me started. I hear he enslaves not only Donans, but his fellow... Renans. We may live in a so society where to the victor go to the spoils, but his actions go against what we as people stand for. Besides, what sort of family line is this House Ignisari? I hate these names, I don't know how to pronounce them. Never heard of it until we came along, which means they must be among the lowest dregs of society. 
Such an igno ignoble lineage could suddenly produce an astral artist capable of ascending to lordship is unheard of. None of it makes sense, not to mention all of the upheaval around here of late. What is happening to our people? Wild. It seems like the people on Lenegas don't really know much about Volron either. I remember being quite surprised when the Lord of Ganeth Harrows changed so abruptly. Didn't you have any doubts that something suspicious was going on? On the contrary. Remember, we Renans are raised to accept everything at face value. What's happening? I don't get it. There wasn't a decree or anything to announce this like there is always. You're right, even if this was an accident, it's strange that we still haven't heard anything from the Sovereign yet. Do my ears deceive me or are they saying that you don't trust what the Sovereign's doing? I'll have you know that was part of the delegation that came down with him to Dana during the previous Kiran contest. He's a brilliant man and just as good with Astral Arts as well. I'm sure he's well aware of the situation, thus has a plan to resolve it. Until then, we must simply wait and trust in judgment. So I'm assuming this guy was probably talking about some successor or descendant of Volrin. Something like that. Because at first it seemed like, yeah, how do you know he was uh, dead? But uh, probably talking about someone else. Likely. Oh, Raptor. I have, I have more news to break to you. My channel, my rules. So YouTube is still my territory, my channel. 